today's food for thought comes from the 24th chapter of Matthew's Gospel, verses 43 and 44, which reads, But know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken in two. Therefore, you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Have you ever heard it said, stay or be ready so that you don't have to get ready? Something I believe that we all learn, hopefully, at some point in our life is that it is better to be prepared than to not be prepared. For example, it's best to make preparations when your area is under a hurricane warning and it's best to take cover when you hear the sound of a tornado warning. When doctors give you advice about your health, it is best that you heed that advice rather than ignore it and let things get worse. Along those same lines, lines which I believe we can all understand, the Lord, he has given us a severe warning. What is this warning? This warning is that he is on his way here. He is coming with the judgment of the world. As it will proceed in the book of Isaiah, every knee will bow to the Lord and every tongue it will confess to him all the works that we have done in our bodies. While Jesus was physically in the world, he warned that the day of the Lord, it is at hand. This is a warning that if the master of the house knew a thief was coming, he would always be on guard so that his house would not be broken in two. You are the master of your house. That is yourself. The day of God's coming will be unannounced. So as the master of your house, I tell you today that it is best that you get ready today instead of waiting until that day. If you wait too late, you will face a judgment that will leave you utterly speechless. So I encourage you today, find Christ so that you can be prepared for the coming of the Lord.